Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. This is Dazzling Sense with Chris, and I'm Chris. So today I have a different kind of video to share. I have a friend mail um, to share that I received today. And this is from Stephanie from Steph Loves Life. She was kind enough to send me a package of goodies. I only opened the box. I did not, you know, look. I just like wanted to open it because I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Um, it traveled quite a ways. So I wanted to make sure it was all right. And this is the box here. And so I wanted to go and go ahead and open this with everybody. Um, Stephanie's channel is amazing. She's awesome. If you're not subscribed to her, you need to be. Um, again, it's Steph Loves Life. L-U-V-S. Um, I will try to link her channel in the description box. Whenever I try to do that, I always screw it up, but I'm going to try. But if not, it's Stephanie from Steph Loves Life. There's a card. I'm going to open the card first. <laughs> ah. Look at that pastries. Ah, oh, okay. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy cupcakes, and it's kind of the same thing. Okay. Please enjoy this prize. Awesome. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. Okay, so let's. Get it in focus and let's dive in. It's funny because I was, I had texted her to tell her that the package was arrived and everything was good, but I didn't think I was gonna have time to film it tonight. But then it was sitting in the room and I'm like, mm. but I really want to open it. So I thought, you know what? S screw it. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right. So, oh, look at this purple, purple stuffing. Stephanie, did I mention that like that's like my favorite color? Um, and there's a reason for that. Um, I try to leave a little trail of purple everywhere I go. Um, purple is the color for epilepsy, and so I'm. That's my daughter had epilepsy, and that's how she passed away. Um, was from a grand mal seizure so therefore you will see in my comments and whatnot I always most of the time trail off with a purple heart so that's the reason for that okay I, there's wax goodies in here you guys oh my lord have mercy where do I start okay all right let's just start okay this is sassy girl Christmas at Waltz, and it is, stupid focus, okay, it is sugar, butter, vanilla, pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. Oh my God. You had me a butter. This smells so good. It's like a buttery lemon cookie. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, stop. This is a good one. You parted with this? That's amazing. I'm actually probably going to melt this like this week because that's a beautiful summer uh, bakery scent. Okay, so we've got L3 Coconut Coast Clementine. Let's check this one out. Oh, you know what? This is good. This reminds me of Focus. What the hell? I have smelled this before. I don't know if it's a candy.
or a drink. Orange pop. It reminds me of Orange Crush. Oh, that's good. This is good. I know this. the title is Coconut Coast Clementine, but this smells like Orange Crush. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Ooh. This one's another one going to get melted very soon. All right. Oh. Okay, this is L3, and it is Season of the Witch. I'm going to try not to get too, but it's still focusing. But, um, Season of the Witch. Our highly sought after apples and leaves blend. She knows I love apple. I love apple scents. I can't imagine not loving apple scents. trying to focus on something behind me. Oh my god. The, it's like being out on an apple orchard. It's so good. This is like perfect for September. Coming out of the new, you know, out of the fall, I'm out of this heat of the summer and start to go into the, oh. You could actually smell the leaves in here. Mixed with the apple. So there's apple and then it's got a little earthiness to it. Mm. I could smell and melt apple all season long. In fact, I usually do. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so we have some Rose Girls. American Cream Lush Type. Campfire Marshmallows. And Rice Krispie Treats. Oh. Oh. This smells like marshmallows. Looks like provolone cheese. <laughs> I won't put this in the fridge. Might mistake it. Oh, that smells good. American cream lush type. That's like nice, that lush body type, body um care, isn't it? This is really really nice. It's very creamy, super creamy. Yeah, that one's good. Good good. Girl, get you giving away the good scents. Okay, this one is Zape, and it is Country Apple. Oh, how cute is that? It's got a little green leaf. You don't like apples. I love apples. Apples are good. This is a really fresh apple. This just, it's pure apple in this. Mmm, beautiful. I'm so glad I decided to open the box. Okay, we've got Astonishing Aroma Candle Company, and this is Apples and Oak. Try to get it open. Mmm, apple and a little wood. Beautiful. You know, it's almost like the core of the apple. It smells like an apple core. Right when you bite, when you eat the apple all the way down to where, you know, just to where, just about where the seeds are. Oh my God. Okay, this one is Zape, and it is Juniper Breeze. Juniper, is that a bush? Shine that out. Ooh, love me some bling. Oh, this is interesting. 
This is nice. Okay. Yeah, it has that. What is juniper? It's green, like it's a. I think it's a bush. You know, this could kind of lean me into some tree scents because it's mild. It's not like in your face, entire Christmas tree in your house. Mm. Good, good one. Am I out of focus? I am. Okay. This is Walt Huckleberries and it's Sassy Girl. And it is sweet huckleberry, pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. Oh, this is going to be like the other one, but it's got huckleberry in it. It's so good. It's a little cookie. It's, mm, it's like a fruity cookie. Mmm. Okay. That's going this week, too, when I do some melting. I've been off my schedule for melting. I, I, I keep to tell you, I just changed my wax yesterday. So, yeah. And it was, a, like, before that, it was, like, a week. I didn't change it. There was, like, no smell in my house. But. I don't know what was into me. I just, I, I felt like I was busy and I'm like, oh, this is going to take me another however long to do the wax and yeah, so I put it off. All right, we have sun ripened raspberry and this is Zape. Ooh, it's like a shimmer in it. This is a nice raspberry. I like this one. Oh, yeah. This is a really, really nice raspberry. It's not in your face raspberry. It's very nice. It's not sharp. I don't like those sharp, you know, like blackberry raspberry. They can be really sharp, and this isn't like that. This one's good. You know, this would be really good with, I have some um, L3's Fizzy Pop. Put a little of that in there to... Oh my word. Okay, so this is Rose Girls Raspberry Orange Jelly Donut. Mm. Okay, let's check it out. It's a donut. And it's donut that has the fruit in the center. And, um, so good. So good. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. You know me. If I don't like a wax, I say so. Okay, so we have L3. Okay, this is good. All right. L3 Waxy Wonders Strawberry Pound Cake. I have been afraid of the pound cake stuff. And I see a lot of blends, you know, strawberry pound cake in this, strawberry pound cake that. Um, I'm always afraid because I don't have good luck with strawberry. But again, it's always sensey and they don't have good strawberry. Just saying. Oh, so this is what strawberry pound cake smells like. It's like pound cake with some strawberry. Okay. But see, this doesn't smell like Scentsy Strawberry. This smells like real strawberries. Like not fake ones. I like that. I've got a lot of stuff now that I can melt in my kitchen for summer. Which is good. Okay, I have a lid. Okay, I think I found it. Okay, this is, let's 
called Pineapple Suds. And I think it is... Is this vintage chic? I think, yeah. Okay, so this is fresh. Does that say laundry? Blended with sweet, sponge sugar, fluffy marshmallow, and fresh pineapple. Does that say fresh laundry? I can't read it. I think it's laundry. But I don't think you can either. If somebody could read that, I don't know. Let's see. I think it's laundry. Out of focus again. Okay. This is nice. Again, if you watched my um, lavender and speckles, I've been looking for laundry scents that I could handle. I could handle this one. It's not that headache inducing. You get the laundry here, but there's you could the pineapple and whipped cream. This is yeah, this one's nice. I could add this to my list of laundry that I can do. All right. So now we have uh, L3 Dingle Hopper Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. And it is Fresh Tropical Fruits Sugared Citrus Blue Volcano. Oh, that's like Blue Grotto, right? And Creamy Coconut Smells Like Paradise. No, I happen to love Blue Grotto. Let's check it out. Mm. Now, there's something different here. This is actually more... It must be the creamy coconut. It's not as, it's creamier than like the Blue Grotto. This is very nice. This is a good one. Yep. Beautiful. Stephanie, you went crazy. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> sassy girl apple bobbing at Waltz. You really hate apples, don't you? Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. This almost smells a little smoky. Let's see, what's in here? I didn't read the notes. It is Mac apple, pineapple, orange, strawberry, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. You don't like Mac apples either? I can't wait till apple season. This is very apple. Super apple. And you pick up the... Oh, little bit of the other fruits in there, but this is pr predominantly apple. Oh so so good this is so good i'm glad i didn't wait see mm -mm. it just made my night better okay okay kringle oh cool kringle candle candle oh this is called gray this is like 50 shades of gray that's how I pictured Christian in the in the book, but the movie they didn't do such a good job. Oh. Sexy man scent. 
Gotta love the sexy man scent, okay? This is nice. This is nice. Mm. Now, I don't know if there's bergamot in here or not. There's like a musk to it and yeah, this is pretty. This is a nice bedroom scent. That's nice. That is nice. My goodness. Okay. Okay, so here we have <laughs> You're so funny. L3 Granny Smith Apple Sugar Cookie Royale Sugared Shortbread Bread. I love L3's um, Sugar Cookie Royale. It is so good. Oh, even better with the apple in it. Okay, wax. Dive it on my nose. This is so... How could you not like this one? The apple is just... It's very creamy. It's beautiful. It's creamy. You could almost... You could smell that shortbread there and that... Oh, the Royal Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, this is L3 Waxy Wonders. This is the Corpse Queen, Mandarin Plum Plum Tart Satsuma. Let's check it out. I don't think I've ever smelled anything with Satsuma in it. This is pretty. This is almost perfumex, perfumesque. This is really nice. Me, is it the Satsuma that makes this like? I've never, like I said, I've never smelled. I don't have any wax with Satsuma in it. This is pretty. It's like um. I get mostly orange here, and it's a, um, it's like a delicate orange. It's, it's beautiful. Okay. L3. I gotta remember this one. And look for it. Okay, so now we have Harper James. Ooh, I never tried Harper James either. Sugar Plum Fairy. Sugar Plum White Musk and Mulled Citrus. This sounds amazing. And they got rid of Dancing Sugar Plums from Sensi. And I'm out of focus. And what's going on with my shirt here? Okay. All right. Cheers. Okay, let's smell the wax. This is a little Sugar Plum Fairy-ish. I get the musky in here that musky note. I'm going to break this. Oh, there it goes. This is pretty. Bedroom. Definitely bedroom scent. So nice. Okay. Yeah, you pick up the white musk in here. I like, I love musk. Look, you can do the citrus. I smell the citrus. This is pretty. Bedroom. Bedroom, bedroom. Okay. This one here is Waltz Sugared Pear from Sassy. And it is brown sugar, pears, pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. I love whipped cream. Mm. These smell so good. I love these Walt blends. I don't smell pear though. What am I? It just smells more like lemon. Again, like a lemon cookie. Mmm. 
so good. This is going to be enough to get me through August in my kitchen. Because actually, to be honest, I was running out of kitchen scents. Okay. This one here is... I don't know if the company is... Savannah Blue Scented Wax Melt. Canyon Sunset. Raspberry, Mint, Rosemary, and Vanilla Bean. Ooh. This ought to be interesting. Rosemary. I love rosemary. Oh, and you get that rosemary. This is nice. A little bit of mint. The rosemary. Mm. What else? There's a sweetness here. I'll be interested to melt this one. I hope the rosemary really comes out when it's melted because I like I like the smell of rosemary. I like to cook with rosemary. Okay. Oh! We have a Salt Mountain Melts, The Great Gatsby. I just placed my very first order with Salt Mountain. Let's check this one out. Is there notes on here? Because, like, yeah, there is. It is white tea. I love white tea. Cedar. Tahitian vanilla. I think that says Tahitian vanilla. Oh, this is nice. Look at it. Sparkles. I love sparkle. You get that white tea. I love the smell of white tea. It, it It's like I just ordered that. Um, what was it? Was it Rose Girls? It had the white tea and ginger dupe from Bath and Body. I love white tea. I don't know what it is. It, white tea is like, I pick up like, it's just like a soft floral it's it's so good. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm melting this one. This is getting melted this week. I gotta pull aside. This is going to my bedroom. This is absolutely gorgeous. Whenever I see a scent that says white tea, I usually try to grab it. Because I do, I just I love it. Love it. And I don't think Sensi has any white tea. And they need to. Okay. This is Zape. And this is Speakeasy. And it's mahogany, tobacco, and coconut. Oh, love mahogany. Oh. Well, this is nice. Pick up the coconut just a little bit in the mahogany and a little bit of the tobacco. Bedroom. I don't want to force it out, but. Oh, this is so pretty. Stephanie, I would think that you would absolutely like be nuts over this. This is beautiful. Oh. This one's really, really nice. Really nice. Okay. You guys, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. All right. I'm trying to work from one end through to the other. Okay. So this is Zape. And it is Vanilla Lace. Doesn't Bath and Body have a vanilla lace? That's pretty. This is a nice soft vanilla. Very soft. It 
smell it really smell on the bottom this is pretty mm. that's really nice it's just a really soft vanilla it's uncomplicated okay so we have oh this is so funny I almost bought this this is Rose Girls, and it's called Makeup Sex. I did. I almost bought it. I saw it in her, one of her orders, and this was one some one of them that was on the list still. Coastal Kale Raindrops Satsuma Masculine and Fresh. Yeah, I this almost went to me because I almost bought it. I think it was a it was in a bag of mini melters. Oh, wow. And I know a lot of people love her coastal kale. This is different. So different. Look how cute. How could it be? Oh. This is like spa. But then there's a little bit of that, like, cologne. But bright, fresh. This is really nice. I should have bought the bag of mini melters. I like this. So good. So good. Love it. I could just sit here and smell this one. It's relaxing. Mm. Very fresh. Fresh, spa-like. I'm not really picking a masculine there. It's not masculine to me. It's a fresh, spa-like. Mm. I wonder if they say that. I know a lot of people really like that coastal kale, and I never really knew what coastal kale was. I used to eat kale. Is it the same thing? I don't know. All right. This one is Luna Wax. I've never heard of them. Malibu Rum Cupcakes. Little cupcakes. Mm. Bakery. You get that cupcake. You can get the cupcake on here. It reminds me of, I don't know if I'd call it rum. There's maybe a little coconut in here. It's like a coconut cupcake. Kind of like a hostess cupcake. Okay. Another kitchen blend. Put it in the kitchen. Okay, this is, oh, uh -huh. Apple churros from Mom Mom's Melts. Homemade, highly scented parasoy wax melts. Not edible. Keep away from pets and children. All right, let's smell it. Smells like a churro. I smell the cinnamon in here. It smells a little fruity. Kind of like apple. I like it. It's different, but it doesn't smell like a churro. Oh, it says apple churros. Oh my god. apples because it is I like it it's like cinnamon apples this is nice this reminds me of the apple empanadas at Mighty Taco Mighty Taco is a local um, taco chain here in this area 
and that's what this smells like the apple empanadas it's like a it's like a tortilla and it's filled with apples and it's rolled up dusted with cinnamon sugar and deep fried that's what this smells like this smells good this is really good oh that's so funny I'm like it smells like apples well yeah it would be because it's an apple churro stupid <laughs> this one's really really good I still can't believe I did that. <laughs> okay. Escape to Neverland. This is Rose Girls. And this is Orange Sherbet Pineapple Sherbet. Why do we call it Sherbet? It's Sherbet. Pineapple and raspberry sauce and vanilla ice cream. Let's hope that vanilla ice cream comes out. Mmm. Feel like a creamsicle. It is creamsicle-like. Yeah, this is gonna, yeah, this is nice. Very, um, this is like a creamsicle, more on the sherbet side. Like, more heavy sherbet, sherbet, and lighter in the ice cream. This is pretty. Very good. Girl, I got my melting cut out for me for my kitchen this month. I love it. Because I did. I was running out of kitchen scents. Okay. Oh, another apple bobbin at Waltz. This one is, uh, it's L3 Waxy Wonders, Tobacco, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Black Amber. Woohoo! This is nice. Wow. This is bedroom. I feel bedroom with this. I'm trying to see if I pick up the amber. Mm. Let's see. Tobacco, warm vanilla sugar, black amber. Getting like the tobacco in here. It's like a sweet. Sweet tobacco. This is pretty. This is really nice. Very elegant. Bedroom. Almost there. Okay, I'm going to say there's another bag in here, but I'm going to do that one last. Okay, two Rose Girls. Oh, yes. Oop. Got another sample hiding over here. Oh, got another one hiding. This one is <sighs> pumpkin toasted marshmallow and bodies something. I can't read it. And it's called, so they have Palo Santo pumpkin cream pumpkin creme brulee, and toasted marshmallow. This is nice. I didn't show you the bag. And look how cute this is.
Isn't that cute? It's like a glittery pumpkin. This smells so good. You get the pumpkin in here, and you get like a, there's like a smokiness, like um, like a fireside smell. That's nice. That must be the Palo Santo, duh. So good. You get this Palo in the creme brulees, giving that creaminess. Mm. Okay. Very nice. Then we got Going Bananas at Waltz from Sassy Girl. And it is banana pudding, pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. Oh, that smells good. Kind of reminds me of uh, taffy. The banana in here. It reminds me of taffy. This is very different. This is something I don't have. I don't have anything like this. This is different. Bananas. I have no banana. That's nice. It's very different. Okay. More for my kitchen. Okay. I think I almost bought this. This is... Sassy Girl Lace on Your Bum. And this is Vanilla Lace Salted Caramel Pistachio Jasmine and Vanilla. Oh my God. Girl, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Pistachio is like gold. It's like gold. And Jasmine and Caramel and Vanilla. Oh my God. Lord help me. This right here. Would make the nicest perfume. I love this. This smells so good. It's got that um, Sol de Janeiro feel to it, but there's a little more perfume. This is gorgeous. Oh, wow. All right, you've lost your mind. I don't think I could part with a pistachio scent. <laughs> Okay, the next one is Muscadine Bubblegum. Bubblegum and Sweet Muscadine. Now, okay. I don't know what Muscadine is. I'm going to assume if this is bubblegum, I'm going to, is that out of focus again? I'm going to assume that... Muscadine is um, a fruit. Mm -mm. Smell the bubble gum. How unusual. Okay. What is that? I wish I had my iPad in here because I want to know what it is. Because it almost smells like... Minty. 
but a different kind of mint. Kind of like bazooka gum. This is so different. I gotta, I, as soon as I get off here, I'm Googling muscadine because, or muscadine, muscadine. That is so unusual. a bazooka but there's this unusual note in here almost like the unusual note in Beeman's gum almost not exact but it's kind of like that it's that weird that's interesting I like this one I'm gonna have to test it in a smaller area so I could see what kind of scent it throws to decide where I want to put it. Okay. Then we have this beautiful bag here. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing left in the box. I think I got through all of it. Okay. Okay. This is glass. All right. And is this why it says hazmat surface only? <laughs> There's like a label on here. It can't go in the it can't go in the air. Jeez. Thought you might be sending a bomb or something. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you wrapped it very nicely perfume you guys she knows I have been trying to rebuild my perfume collection because I used to have one or keep one years ago and I just kind of stopped and you know nothing like Steph's perfume collection and we're still waiting Stephanie for your video of that perfume collection you showed us a little sneak peek of it and teased us so now we want to see all of it okay this is Daniel I can't say the name because I'm Daniel F is that an F or Fossier? I don't know how to pronounce that or spell it because I don't know if that's an F or a J I'll let you look at it ring light is kind of okay and it is the musk eau de perfume love musk this is so nice oh my goodness I got some paper here Beautiful bottle. This is pretty. Now I gotta look up the scent notes. She did put that in the car to check fragrance.net or fragrant fragrantia. Is it fragrantia or fragrance.net? Let me check. Fragrantia. Fragrantica. Dot com just to get the set notes this is so pretty hold on I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna go get my iPad okay we're back okay so it's a J not an F it's um, Daniel Hosier Hosier I don't know this is the musk and the main accords are musky, amber, woody, powdery, rose, vanilla, and sweet. It's beautiful. It's 
gorgeous. Absolutely love this. Let's see. The nose behind this fragrance. Okay, the top notes are white musk and angelica. Middle notes are musk woody notes and rose base notes are musk tonka bean and labdanum beautiful this is gorgeous absolutely yeah i like this because there's floral here but it's not that <sighs> sometimes floral could be a little bit i don't know I don't like to use the word old lady. I don't want to use that word. It's not the right word. This isn't like that. This is pretty. So beautiful. I Again, I love musk. Okay. Okay, this, oh, look at this, Bronze Goddess. I was just looking at this. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. I need another piece of paper. She hit my hand. Pretty. Pretty. Okay, let's check it out. Look this one up. Let me let this dry down a little bit. Okay, vanilla, coconut, amber, sweet, white floral, powdery, woody, lactonic, and tropical. What does it say? Come on. I think I'm freezing up here. Top notes, coconut, middle note, Terry flower. Base notes are vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. I oh, this is. Mm. It's sweet. It's. It's a sexy perfume. This is really, really nice. Look at me with my bra straps hanging out, looking all like you know. Cover them up. Looking all trashy. Opening this beautiful perfume looking trashy. Anyway. Yeah. Like this one. I like this one a little. What am I going to wear tomorrow? Oh my God. It's nice. I hit my hand when I sprayed it. Mmm. Beautiful. Okay. This one here. Look at the colors of these are gorgeous. This is a silage house house of silage. Is that what that is? Benevolence by okay. It's benevolence by House of Sillage. Okay. Let's look up this one. I like the name. Sometimes names. I, I, I'll buy a perfume based on a name. B. 
And I like how they did this. Look at this. It's B. And then it's Nevolence. Like it's space. It's not pulling anything up on this one. Let me look under the... Um, House of... Oops. this out. Yeah, I can't pull anything on this one. Let me see. Okay. I'll have to Google the set notes on that one. Let's check it out. Oh, I smell this already. Oh. Okay. What is this? I got to find it. Let's say we're going to Google it, okay? Thank you if you're still hanging out with me. Okay, this was a limited edition. Oh, see, it's coming up here. Sweet vanilla, white floral, almond, citrus. Um, soft, spicy, anise. Powdery, floral, and nutty. I think I spelled it wrong. I think maybe that's why it wasn't coming up. Mm. Smells so good. Okay. The top notes are bitter almond, star anise, bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, and lavender. And the base notes are sugar, Madagascar, vanilla, and musk. And it is beautiful. Just beautiful. Girl, these have my name written all over it. They're gorgeous. You know what? I'm gonna start calling the I'm gonna start calling Stephanie the the sommelier of fragrance. <laughs> yeah, I've gotta see your collection. And I want to see you go through your scents and describe them. I love when you do your perfume things. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look how beautiful this is. Black Dragon. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Stunning. Okay, let's see what this one is. I'll make sure I spell it right. Okay, I think this is it here. It's 
Byron. It's by Byron Perfumes. And it is sweet, powdery, vanilla, woody, fruity, honey, tropical, tobacco, musky, amber. Now, the top notes are honey, mango, and pineapple. The mid notes are bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, and tobacco. And the base notes are amber, musk, and patchouli. Oh, my God. This is, like, amazing. I sprayed that one already. There are all these twin pieces of paper. Okay, let's see. Let that dry down. Stephanie, you are far too kind. These are just to share your beautiful things. I could smell this already as it's drying down and it's Get that powderiness to it. Get a little bit of the patchouli. It's not real. It's not heavy. It's light. It's oh my goodness. Love it. Absolutely freaking love it. So beautiful. They're all beautiful. I love every single one. I'm going to have to decide what I want to wear first. They're stunning. Girl, you, you hit me right spot on. They're just beautiful. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. That was so nice. Um... A beautiful gesture of kindness um, I can't say enough about just how happy I am to have found this group of amazing so far you know mostly ladies um, yeah it's such a pleasure to be able to relate to people with a common interest, um, you know, so, you know, so I want to talk about wax and I like talking about smells and, you know, but no, no, I don't know anybody who really wants to, they don't really care. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, if I say, Oh, you got to smell this new wax. They're like, Oh, okay. Um, they don't get excited about it. And it's just nice to have a place to go and chat about, all things that smell <laughs> good smells sometimes bad but um yeah this was very very nice so kind Stephanie you're an awesome amazing person um I was drawn to your channel the first time I stumbled on it I said oh I like her she talks about her whiskeys and her different wines and the perfume and then she goes into the wax and her candles I love it her channel's amazing you got to check it out she's a lot of fun she really is um yeah gotta check Stephanie out oh I forgot to google muscadine hold on you guys we got to know what that is some of you probably already do know you're probably like you fool it's this okay let's try <sighs> Google, where are you? Ooh. It's a grapevine species native to southeastern and south central United States. Okay, but it's a grape. It's a grape. Really? It's a healthy antioxidant. But what about the scent of muscadine? Because it had a... 
Oh, look at that. They make wine out of it, for crying out loud. You would have known that, Stephanie. You would have known that because you work at a winery. Um, I don't get that at all. It had like a mintiness to it. Anyway. I have wasted enough of your time, I'm sure. It's, anyway, so this is like a wine bubble gum. Hmm, who knew? Okay, I don't think I've ever had muscadine, to be honest with you. Um, is it a dry wine? Does it make dry wine or sweet wine or in the middle? I'm more of like an in the middle type of wine girl. Um, I was saying thank you so very much. Stephanie, this was, this was a beautiful gesture, and I appreciate it. Now I have a ton of wax to melt to get me through the rest of summer with some summery bakery-type stuff for my kitchen. Um, I struggled today. I was like, what am I going to melt? Because I don't have much left for summer set in the kitchen area. Um, so again, thank you. I'm going to say it 50 million times. Go to her web channel, her, oh my God, her YouTube channel, Steph Loves Life. I'm going to try to link it in the description box. We'll see how successful I am. Anyway, I hope you all have a great night, and thanks for sticking around at my craziness. But I'm back in my room. It's almost done. It might be echoing in here. Anyway, I love everybody. Have a great night, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.